hitting the driver straight or with a draw is what we're looking at today. So in order to do that, we need to hit the driver Y classes from the inside to do it. Now, if we're looking for a straight shot, it's in to in on that circle. If we're hitting the draw, it's in to out. And obviously if we're a slicer of the golf ball or a puller of the golf ball, it's kind of out to in. Those are just words. What we're looking really to do is swing the golf club in a circle and try and hit it straight or with a draw. That's ideal. Most golfers want to do that. There are some golfers who want to fade the ball and if we want to do that, that's no problem. This video is really there to help most of us, including me, the one hit the ball straighter and longer. So very simply, what I've set up here is three tee pegs and they're in the diagonal line as you can see here. Now the idea is basically in the downswing, we try and hit this inside tee peg, follow the line to the outside tee peg. In doing that, we are obviously creating a feeling of swinging away from the inside. And we can exaggerate this more, we can exaggerate this less, depending on what the player needs. Based on all my years coaching, exaggerating a lot is, is a key thing for people to get a feel of swinging from the inside more so. So what I'd encourage you to do, you'd have this three tee peg system down, you'd swing back, you swing over the tee pegs, and you do this a few times, then we put the ball in play. And what we're gonna try and do now with the ball in play is try and feel we're swinging over the top of those. So set up square as we would do normally. We feel like we're gonna swing on the downswing only over the top of those balls. Definitely felt from the inside. Nice little bit of draw. And the driver felt really good, it's a brand new driver. First time I've used it outside, the stealth. So carbon wood, eh? So definitely felt from the inside, definitely felt good. Had that definite visuals, definitely helped me. I'm a visual learner, so the visual stuff will help me, for sure. Driving is so important to us. If we can get the ball in play off the tee, that's gonna make a huge difference to your scores. Hitting straight shots or draws are exactly what most golfers want. The fade is great if you're a big long hitter like Brooks Kepka or Dustin Johnson, but for the rest of us mere mortals, Hitting that straight shot or draw is what we're looking for. While I'm here, I just want to thank you for the support you've given me over the years. Just wanted to point out that only 20% of you actually subscribe to my channel. That subscription is free. You're not tied into anything. And hit the notification button. You make sure you get all my latest videos. So if you haven't already subscribed, please take a look at that if you can. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. The second thing we're going to do is have a prop. So I've got an alignment rod with a bit of foam on the end. And obviously each here is a crash barrier. If I come over the top, I will hit that. So this is very much what we call a constraint. Now constraints work to affect the mind or give us evidence when we do things the wrong way. So this is very much about making me hit more from the inside rather than the very subtlety of the tee pegs. So from the subtle visual learners, the tee pegs are great. For the guys that just carry on hitting the same shots normally, tee pegs don't help. The constraints in place really help and we can have them pre and post impact also. So anything like that that helps you is great for you to do. And what we'd encourage you to do is use it on the practice area and then try and visualize it on the golf course while we hit drives. The key is trust on the golf course. So when we're in play in the golf course, swinging back, making sure we swing underneath that rod and hit a drive. Again, solid hit, a slight block. So if I don't, basically, if I get it from the inside and don't square that club face up correctly to the, to the target, I will get blocks. I'm quite happy that as a golf shot. I want my golf shots on the, on the golf course and my tee shots on the golf course to be blocks or draws. That's why I'd like to be. That's the longest I can be. As I'm getting older, I'm definitely losing a bit more speed. And as I'm around that 103, 104 mile an hour now, I need to draw the ball to keep up with the young guys if I, I wanted to do that. So if I was much faster, I could probably cut the ball and still keep up with them. But I'm definitely not getting faster. I'm definitely getting slower, as most of us are. So hitting from the inside to hit that straight shot or draw shot is kind of ideal to maximizing and optimizing my length whilst being really accurate. And that's important too. I want to be very accurate. So pre-shot routine on the course. What I would do is we stand behind the ball, make a practice swing exaggerated from the inside 
almost take a divot here, hit it in the direction of one o'clock, skim the ground ideally, because we want the club to be bottom out before the ball. That help us encourage us to hit up on the ball too. Stand behind the ball, pick your target, just right the flag, in this case, of the bright end bunker. Aim down that right hand side. Take your setup, have a little waggle. I'd encourage you just to move the club back about three inches behind the ball. That helps us visually hit it from the inside. Let's stare at that spot and get the same feels as that practice swing. Again, slight block, solid hit. Really happy with the shot. Didn't get the drawback I 100% wanted, so I'd have to release the club a little bit more if that was consistent. So that is the plan. Just to be clear, to hit a straight shot, you need an in to square to in path, to so a circular path with a face that is aiming at the target. To hit the draw, an in to out path with a face that's aiming in between the target and the path, and that will give us a perfect draw. So the last shot I hit there would be an in to out path with a face that's square to the path. If the face was a few degrees closed, that would have been a beautiful draw onto target, exactly what I've been looking for. So hidden from the inside, with any club is important. These drills will work with any club, irons or woods, but particularly today we're focused on how we can improve your driving, make you the best version of you when you're hitting your drive.